So in order to truly build an inclusive online community culture, um, I just, I love the term friending the feedback. I, I was thinking about it. And, you know, when you're talking, when you're taking a look at online communities and taking a look at the functionality, it's all about connecting. So when you're taking a look at creating a sustainable feedback channel, it's, it's only going to be part of that process because you want to, when you're managing online communities, make sure that people feel like they're part of the process. And that only that not only encompasses having a channel for the feedback, but making sure that that channel is promoted. And like, you know, we're talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion. So making sure that that feedback channel is open for all that anyone can submit to it. I would also recommend having different types of feedback channels. Um, and a couple of examples of that could be um, an online community survey if you do that one once a year. It could be a general um, information email, if you will. And some people, um, other community managers in the space, I know they invite feedback directly, just, you know, message them, send them an email, but really making sure that you're providing a mechanism so that everybody feels included and able to help inform the overall content strategy and direction of the online community.